Just got through watching the um, WWE. I have a hard time calling it WWE. I called it WWF for so long that calling it WWE just doesn't, still doesn't work for me. <laughs> but anyway, I just got through watching the uh, Clash of Champions pay-per-view. It's their Raw one, so it's just all the Raw superstars. And it was pretty good. I was actually surprised. I didn't get to watch all of the Rusev versus Reigns match. <clears throat> My son woke up and had to take care of that. By the time I got him back to sleep, had to I had missed it. I've had I come into the Kevin Owens Seth Rollins match, which was pretty good too. The finish I thought was a little convoluted. I think there's a few mess ups throughout the night, like uh, with the women's title. I think the title match. I think the um, I can't remember her name. Um, the short blonde girl that's with um, oh gosh, I can't my, like Charlotte, and I'm just thinking because uh, I think she was supposed to hold on to Sasha Banks' leg the entire time and she didn't, so I think it kind of made things a little weird, but overall, still a good match. Everything that I, I really don't have any complaints. Um, I mean, there's I wish that New Day would lose the belt so they could get they could build back up. Um, I don't know if they should have lost to, to Gallows and Anderson tonight. But I mean, they didn't lose it. New Day kept the belts. But I, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm not sure who they should lose the belts to. But I do think they should lose them soon so they can get more a little bit more serious. Because right now they're too much comedy, I think. But, yeah, good show. If you didn't get to see it, I highly recommend, recommend getting the WWE Network and watching it because they always put on a good show. I wonder... Because they had their the stage and the ramp aren't they don't don't have lights projecting them. Those are like LED like stage and ramp. I'm like I was like wondering like how much money do they do that thing cost? Because I mean it's and they have to, they transport that thing everywhere. I'm like man, this stuff is that just the amount of money they put into that live show is staggering. I was like I mean I'm when I I remember. When they just had the Titan Tron, which is basically just a giant screen that showed things. Now it's like the floor and the ramp and the, around the ring and like everything has these LED signs and it's just crazy what's got into. But yeah, if you can't tell, I kind of like wrestling. Well, it's that time of year again to when everything has pumpkin in it. And... I love it. <laughs> I love the pumpkin. Any, almost anything pumpkin I like. I've got my pumpkin spice coffee. I have, like today I went to the grocery store. I got pumpkin spice salted caramels, pumpkin pancake mix, pumpkin butter, pumpkin fig bars, uh, pumpkin... Spice caramel corn, uh, pumpkin granola cereal, and I think that's it. Yeah, I kind of like pumpkin. I like pumpkin. I love pumpkin pie. I know a lot of people are like, man, I hate it. Everything's got pumpkin in it. I'm getting tired. I don't. It's once a year, and don't get me wrong. By the time when things start and they get when everything starts getting sold out and they stop doing it, I'm tired of pumpkin. But the next year around, I really, I love it. So it's something that if it was all the time, I would hate it. But to where it's only once a year, well, I don't say once a year. I mean it's for a few months. I mean it's like from uh, like end of September, beginning of October, all the way up into uh, around Thanksgiving. Uh, after Thanksgiving stuff starts going, it they stop baking it. Um, but overall, I really like it. I bought a board game. Okay, well, let's start over from the beginning. Well, actually, I bought a board game. It's the beginning. But anyway, okay. So yeah, I bought a board game, <laughs> and I get it home, and like, it was a lot cheaper than it was on Amazon. Like normally, this is like a fifty dollar game, and they had it for I think thirty bucks or something like that. So I get it home, open it, and I was like, wow, the entire game's sleeved, and somebody made a custom insert for it. If you don't know what that is, it's basically they take like a foam board and they 
make places to put all the tokens and stuff like that. But the person that made this evidently made it before they sleeved the cards. So now if they sleeve the cards, they don't fit. And they put these like, um, let's see. So like you have the bottom of the place where the cards go. They put these like little squares of the foam board under, uh, on top of the stack it so they'd be, they'd be higher up. But as a result, that means that the cards are only supported in the middle, the top and the bottom, which like kind of hang over the edge. And the slit, I mean, if, if you left the cards in there over time, they would literally start to sag. They'd have a bow in them. So I was like, that's so stupid. Also, they glued the thing to the box. Oh, if you ever make custom inserts for a board game, do not, I repeat, do not glue it to the box. I mean, you may, later on, you may get a um, expansion and you'd be like, oh man, my this doesn't work anymore. So yeah, don't glue it to the box. Also, they made all the compartments. I'm just, I, I could complain about this thing for a long time. Um, my initial thought was like, oh cool, somebody made a custom insert for it. But then when I took the piece, because before when I buy a board game at a store, I always, like it's, it's used, I always count all the tokens to make sure they're all there. This thing had a few hundred tokens. That's a lot of stuff to count and keep track of. And there's not enough compartments for the tokens, so you had to mix them together. And, so, and I'm like, I think what happened is the person started out, they had like a large compartment for these large cards, and then they have these all these other small compartments. So they had this large one here, and then around it, there's um, smaller ones. Well, at the top, I think they were just like, they either run out of foam board, or they just got tired of making it, so they just put like three dividers up, and they're not really the right size. So, also, they didn't glue it down right, so like tokens get stuck under it, and uh, like under the walls, they didn't like glue them all the way straight across. They left like some places weren't glued, so those tokens were stuck under it. I actually thought it was missing tokens until I turned it sideways and I saw one wedged under it, and I'm like, man. So yeah, if you make custom inserts for your board games, do them right. I mean, like, don't glue things into the box. That's, oh man, when I saw that, that they had done that, it's stupid. I was just like, this is crazy. Also, um, if you make them for tokens, it's better if you make a little tiny thing, if you put the tokens in that you can pull out of the box and not pull the entire giant insert out. So yeah, I've made a few for my own games, if I could find them. I've, but the thing is, I've got to the point, I'm like, why do that? Because the foam board is more expensive than these little like Plano like fishing tackle boxes. Buy that. They're so much cheaper, and they're better because there's they're this hard plastic you don't have to worry about. You just take your game somewhere, open it up. You got all you got everything already divided out. My hand is itching like crazy, <laughs> and it's like you don't have to do it. You don't have to worry. And when you want to put it back up, just put the little token your tokens back in it, and you're done. Now I've got this game that there's so many expansions out for it. Too. Um. I don't really want to mention the name of it because I, it, it does go into my recent pickups videos. And I prefer to not spoil what I got. Like I already did Friday the 13th, I know, but I still want to kind of keep this, I, keep, I want to keep this one a secret. Because <laughs> it's actually a really cool game. But, yeah, like I said, just plan out, what you, like if, if you're going to make an insert, plan it out, please. Because... These in, the inserts, like, the, like, um, the, uh, I can't what they call these now. My brain's went completely blank. But, um, the board, designer board games, that's what they call these. Designer board games are pretty expensive. So, if you mess, if you make a custom insert that messes up the cards or something like that, it's, it's just bad. It just, you, you wasted a bunch of money. Also, whoever, um, uh, Previous on this game, uh, they sleeved it in two different brands of sleeves, which is like, well, what's the big deal of that? Well, one brand is Fantasy Flight, which is the the uh, brand of the board game, also. Well, 
their cart, the, the, the cart, they have like so many different size cards, but their their sleeves are are color coded for the size of cards. And it tells you in the back of the box how many of each pack to buy to sleeve the entire thing. Well, evidently this person didn't buy enough. So the other half of the, so other, some of the cards are sleeved in ultra pros and they don't fit. So the card sticks out and I was like, what's going on here? And I turned one over the cards over and I saw that there's a little hologram for it. I hate Ultra Pro Sleeves. I've always, I don't know why, but I've never liked it. Even though I play Magic the Gathering, I just never liked them. But yeah, so if you sleeve a deck, a sleeve, sleeve a uh, board game, please sleeve them all. I mean, if they were all in Ultra Pros, they'd have been fine. Or if they'd been all in Fantasy Flight Sleeves, they'd have been fine. But don't mix and match because the, the sleeves are two different sizes and when you pick the cards up, you can tell which ones are which because they were sleeved in the other sleeves. Alright, sorry. That's just my rant about board games. 